So you're probably thinking, why am I starting a vlog semi-naked, just getting out of the shower? Well, today is Sunday. Today is the day. That is the event that I've been helping pro promote for a bar club on Chapel Street in Windsor. It's called Punk Color. Um, it's right next door to a really famous uh, restaurant called Hawker Hall, and they are putting on a pride night and they would like to do this once every two to three months uh, and they reached out to me and asked me to help them promote their night which is really very um, very nice of them and I feel very honored that they had reached out to me so I just had a shower uh, you will see this video one week after it has happened I'll get there at about quarter past six um, to and I'll stay for a couple, good couple of hours um, there'll be drag show, um, there'll be quite a few people, so I'll go around and do some PR work for them as well. i uh, take some Instagram stories for the night as well, so follow me on the Instagram, which is Craig B. Harris. If you're, welcome, if you're new to my channel, welcome, my name is Craig, I'm 46, I live in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia, and um, I do lots of fashion content and um, I just do lots of vlogging. Um, if you if you want to come along on my journey and see what I get up to, some stupid mischief. Um, next weekend I am driving to Sydney to see my family, so I'm going to try and take you on that road trip. I won't be stopping too much on that road trip, but anyway, that will be another video. So I am getting ready, just had a shower, just put some deodorant on. I am going to blow dry my hair and try and look a little bit presentable. I think I might fix up my my beard just a little bit and I still don't know what I'm gonna wear. <gasps> So this is pretty much a standard way for me to get ready for work. But every day, shower, blow dry my hair, try and look presentable. Um, hopefully this towel will not fall down because we don't want that type of show. I actually want people to stay and get more followers and subscribers, um, not to get people to unsubscribe. So um, what am I gonna do? I will shave, so I'm going to shave. Um, has everyone had a really good week? Uh, my week has been absolutely crazy. Work has been so busy. Oh, I can't believe it, really can't believe it. I actually worked um, five hours overtime, so I worked um, two hours overtime on Thursday, and then I worked three hours overtime yesterday. So just put in some hot water on my face. Um, and those people that watch this channel, and if you do shave your face, um, you know it's not the nicest thing to do. And um, having a beard now, it's honestly such a nice break to not do this on a daily basis like I used to do when I flew. Um, I used to be cleanly shaven every day. And yes, your skin gets used to it when you shave every day, but when you haven't done it for a long time, um, your skin gets very sensitive. So I pretty much just outline where I want to shave. Um, that way I don't get too excited and get too far down. Um, I do this maybe four times a week, five times a week. Um, obviously the skin on my, oh, my neck is really sore right now. And every time I was doing that, I felt a pinch in the back of my neck. I, I actually went to get a massage again today, mm, but the, they're like, can you please come back in 20 minutes? So I'm like, I don't have 20 minutes. I'm a busy, busy man. Get anyone wants the Dolce Gabbana show with Mariah Carey. Um, she came out and she was escorted by Dolce Gabbana to the fashion show. And um, she looked amazing. And it was quite nice to see her and Tanaka and her kids all dressed up. Um, a bit of a sidetrack to what this video is all about, but I do love to chat. 
Um, last night I went out for dinner to this new restaurant in Melbourne. It's called Blacksmith and it's a brasserie. It's on the top floor and it overlooks the city. Um, it's been around for a month's time. I found it on Instagram. And yeah, the food was actually quite nice. The cocktails were really yummy too. I had a filthy uh, dry martini. Sorry, a filthy dirty martini. And I have my martinis with gin. What do you have yours with? The guy, the, the, the waiter, he goes, I'm presuming it's a vodka one for you. And I'm thinking, well, I look like a vodka type of guy. I think the gin with the olive always tastes better for me. And vodka, I can't really taste vodka. So I'm gonna rinse this water off so you can see. And voila, beautiful line here, beautiful line there. I always make sure that when I do shave here, that when I'm looking down, I can't see the beard at all on my neck. So that's the guideline I use. Um, people have it different and um, people have some beautiful beards and some people just let them grow that a little bit too long and I like a nice manicured uh, face. Um, now I am going to put some skincare and if you have been watching my videos for a long time, you know I've been using CeraFe and I'm still using that very much and I've got a, quite a few people at work onto it now. So I'm just using the really rich uh, moisturizing cream there and I put a, a nice like a penny size amount on my hand and moisturize it rub it together and then gently rub it into my face oh, it feels so good it is so hydrating I'm so glad that I got recommended this product from a skin specialist at the hospital when I went in and had my skin assessed. But, and I'm using the eye cream, which is amazing as well. It's really thick. And I sometimes put it on really dry areas on my face. Like I have, I don't have eczema, but I feel like there's some really dry areas right here. I do have a sunspot there um, and that's because I love being in the sun uh, not good for your skin but in turn I love having a tan so I can't get a spray tan all the time um, a real tan lasts so long on my body I actually still am sporting a tan from summer which is crazy like I still have speedo lines um, I won't show you those but just take my word on that um, I still don't know what I am going to wear today. Uh, perfume that I will be using, it is La Labo Vetiver uh, 46. I got this for my birthday in uh, two years ago. Two years ago, no. I don't know why I'm saying it like this. Um, from a good friend of mine, Pauline. Um, and Pauline I met at uh, my old workplace. Actually, no, I got it a year ago. And I use, I would not have chosen this perfume on my own. That's probably a little, that's better, you can see me. Um, I would not have chosen this perfume for myself just because it's a scent that I wouldn't have picked up, but I love it. I, the more I use it, the more I love it. And it's really intense. And if you don't know their perfumes, they do pack a punch and they actually stay in the skin for quite a long time too. Hence the fact that they, cost over $400 for a perfume, which is crazy. Um, the razor I have put in the bin because I've used it two times and that's the maximum time that I use a razor. Um, just clean up the sink here. I need to moisturize my body and then I'm gonna get dressed. So I have some caramel suede boots on from a brand called Bronze Snake, which is an Australian brand. I've mentioned that on my channel before i've got some spray painted on jeans no they're not spray painted but they're so tight they're from nudie 
I've had these oh, for a good nine years, I think. I'm really surprised I can fit into them still. But anyway, um, positive note there. Um, I have an ATOS green bomber jacket. This is a, another green jacket that I have. I actually did not keep that sage green jacket that I have in the haul that you would have watched last week. And I have a black shirt on, which I got made in Thailand. Uh, minimal jewelry, I have a necklace that I got in Italy, a white gold cross necklace. I got that in Florence, just on the bridge there, just where all the tourists go to get ripped off with jewelry. It was a great experience, but nonetheless, I bought it there, great memory. I've got my Rolex on. I've also got a nice thumb ring on from Tiffany and also this beautiful bracelet that is hand woven and it's got stainless steel um, clasp on it. That I got from like a Moroccan store here in Melbourne, actually. Uh, it, I can't wait to uh, introduce Jake and uh, Colin. Uh, they will be the first time that they meet each other tonight. We're going out for a Thai meal just before. I'm gonna pick Colin up very shortly and I will be driving because I am not drinking much tonight because I'm working and uh, part of the proposal that I sent them and the option that they chose for the job tonight is that um, I will be attending the venue for a couple of hours and um, I did suggest that I have a couple of drinks complimentary as well um, whether I use them or not I'll hand them out to somebody that's entirely gonna I'm just gonna live on the fly there I'm sporting a beautiful up to today, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everybody else in between. And I am feeling pretty good. Last night I went out for dinner to this new restaurant in Melbourne called uh, Black Smith. It's a brasserie, it's on the top floor, overlooks the city, spectacular views. The food was pretty amazing too. They've only been open for a month. Um, the only issue is, which I found really, really strange, is that they had these seats and they were facing backward from the uh, the beautiful view there. So it just didn't make sense to me. Why would you have people facing their back to the view, which is probably why everyone will go there initially anyway, because the view is spectacular. Um, so I will give them some feedback actually. Um, there's only three of those tables that have the chairs that are facing the wrong way and, and I was on one of those. Um, but on a positive note, it was a great night. The cocktails were amazing. And like I said, the food was amazing too. Um, it is hot in here. I've got the heater on, it is winter and um, I am ready to get out of here and have a good time tonight. And um, I will take you along on this journey. Okay, standard operating procedure. I've had a costume change. I thought, no, that bomber jacket was a little bit too casual. I wanted it a little bit more funky. So I've gone for my All Saints leather jacket here, uh, a bit more edgy. Um, I haven't been out for dinner for ages, like on the street in um, Chapel Street. So yeah, I'm gonna support this today. And it's got lots of zips so I can put my valuables, like my wallet and my keys in there. And I'm not gonna lose anything tonight. The reason why I didn't put this on initially because I thought I don't want anyone to damage it. And if I would want to take it off, I didn't want to have to rely on putting it somewhere else, but I'm just gonna keep it on. Anyway, bye. duck curry and the coconut rice it's so good mm -mm. let me try this chicken one what do you think do you think it's gonna be good Colin I haven't tried it I'm filming you looks good mm. 
I can dance.